guys, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this look right here. I was feeling a little monochromatic moment for today's look. And in honor of the shade Limelight and the P. Louise base coming back, they just restocked it. By the way, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, P. Louise is basically a makeup brand. I feel like if you're watching my video, then you're familiar with P. Louise. They're super popular for their base. And if you watch my channel and you're subscribed, you guys see me use their bases all the time on my channel. Um, so recently they just restocked the Acid Rain Limelight shade, which is this shade right here. And you guys, this is the most beautiful neon green ever. It's what I'm wearing on my lid. I also used it to cut my crease today. So we didn't use any blank canvas. I did replace blank canvas with this one for today's look. Super excited, you guys. I love this look. Like right now, I want to do every single color like this like do a pink eye like this maybe even a purple one I think this is so pretty it's so easy to do you just need a couple of shades of green and of course you guys know okay when we're popping out with a bomb look like this one I of course feel a little shameful but uh I use my Tahiti palette and I use the XL Pro palette you guys know these are my babies anytime I do a really nice look it's using these palettes because you can get so many looks just with these two eyeshadow palettes. I freaking love them. So these are the palettes that I used today. But you guys are going to be so proud of me because I am not wearing my usual lip combo. I'm wearing my lip liner, my new number two from KKW. But the liquid lipstick and the gloss is not anything that I've used before. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see that I just rearranged my unused makeup. So it's basically makeup that's brand new that I need to try or backups of like my favorite items. And I bought, I guess you would call it like a storage cart and I basically organized everything and it kind of just put everything into perspective and I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many lip products that I have not tried and I'm sitting here in every single video posting with these same liquid lipsticks. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I used for this lip combo because I think it is so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm also wearing a brand new foundation that I was shook by. So we're going to go ahead and jump to today's video. Oh, also, before we jump in, I changed my shelves a little bit. So during Christmas, I had those fairy lights there. They were really pretty and they really stood out in the video. And then I just kind of took them down because Christmas was over. Um, but I love the way they look. They look so pretty. I also got that candle. It's a really nice, tall, skinny candle. And that candle I actually got at Walmart. It was super, super affordable. So I just wanted to point that out because I did just redo that section just a little bit um but yes all right you guys so let's go ahead and jump to the video make sure that you guys subscribe if you guys enjoy my content and without further ado if you guys would like to see how I created this monochromatic green look today then just keep on watching <music> So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number 2. You guys already know I love this base. I use it in every single video. It's so good, especially when you're working with colors. This is going to make your eyeshadow look like 10 times more pigmented than what it actually looks like it's going to be. It's amazing. So I like to apply it all over my lid, and then I do blend it out with a buffing brush. So for eyeshadow today, like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be using the Love Tahiti palette. This is the Carnival 3 by Be Perfect. And you guys, this palette is so dry. Me. I've used it so much. I freaking love it. So I'm going to be using the shade Forest in the palette, which is a beautiful dark green. And I really wanted to take the time to explain to you guys exactly how I like to do my eyeshadow. So here I'm taking a very tiny, precise brush. As you guys can see, it's still rounded though. So it's still able to blend a little. But what I'm basically doing is just packing that green color into the socket of my eye and actually creating the depth first. So for me personally, when I'm working with color, I like to start off with my darkest, deepest color first. So this is going to be the darkest color that I'm using in this entire look. So that's why I'm really packing it into the socket of my eye. Okay, so once I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking, I'm going to take, this is actually just a piece of paper towel, and I'm going to rub that blending brush on that paper towel. All I'm doing here is just taking off any eyeshadow that's left on the brush, and I'm going to use this same brush with no additional product, and I'm just going to rub it against that harsh line that I created from packing on the color so much, just so that way it's a little diffused. And so when I go in with the next color that I'm going to use to basically be the transition shade for this color, it's going to blend into each other very easily. So this is a little trick that 
I like to do. It definitely helps so that way you're not number one using way too many shadows. And if you have a smaller eyelid space and you don't have that much space to apply so many eyeshadow colors, this method is going to be perfect and it's going to ensure that you'll be able to see every single shade that you're using even if you do have hooded eyes. So that's what I'm doing here. It's very simple, very easy, but it's very tedious so definitely take your time. So moving on to the next shade, I'm going to be using the shade Tropics. It's a beautiful green, of course, and I'm going to use this on a M503 brush from Morphe. It's a blending brush, but it's a pointed blending brush, so it's very, very precise, and I'm basically just putting 50% of the brush on that line and 50% on my bare skin, so that way I get that nice gradient. Then jumping into the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette, I'm actually going to be taking this green right here, and that one is called The Hype, also such a beautiful green shade. And with this specific shade, as you guys can see, I went in with a very fluffy brush. And the reason why I did that is because now I want the colors to start to diffuse as much as possible. I don't want them to be super, super pigmented. This is where you want your shadows to start to blend almost into nothing. So that's why I'm using a nice fluffy brush to start to diffuse all the rest of the colors. And you guys, I have pretty good lid space, but please do not be afraid to bring your eyeshadow all the way up to your brow. Like as you guys can see, I pretty much used up my entire lid space when you see the footage of the intro. So definitely do not be afraid. So the next color I'm going to be using is the shade called Key Lime. As you can see, this is one of my favorite shades. It's so beautiful. I literally like am hitting pan. I'm so sad. I have to order another palette. But this is going to be the last shade that we're using because as you guys can see, it's the lightest shade. So this shade I'm using with that same fluffy brush and I'm just diffusing it into the rest of those greens, making sure that I'm packing it on because it is a very light green so I want to make sure that you can see the pigment as much as possible so that's what I'm doing there and then of course with all the blending everything is gonna look faded so once I'm done with the blending I know exactly where everything is going that's when I take the time to go back in with every single eyeshadow so here I'm going back in with the shade forest then I did go back in with the shade tropics and of course I ended off with going back in with the shade key lime just to make sure everything was nice and blown out Okay, so now that I added back all my colors, it's time to clean up the crease. So I'm going to be using some Q-tips and some micellar water. The Garnier micellar water, the one with the pink cap, is my personal favorite. It's amazing. It's not oily. It's just, it's bomb. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and clean up the eyeshadow on my lid and start to create that shape of the cut crease that I'm actually going to do. This makes your life so much easier. It's like a coloring book. All you need to do is fill in the space. So for bases, I'm going to be using Blank Canvas and Limelight, but Limelight is the star of the show. I did go ahead and lower the lighting so you guys can see how neon and bright this base is. It's so beautiful and you need the tiniest bit. So as you guys can see, I'm using just a tiny bit of limelight, tiny bit of blank canvas. So I'm going to start off with the shade limelight and of course, as you guys can see, I'm just following that shape that I created with the Q-tip and I'm just going to fill that area in and I'm so happy that I finally got me cutting my crease on camera because of the way that I positioned the camera for today's video. By the way, I know it's different. It's not as up close as usual. So let me know if you guys like it because I actually like it way better. Um, but let me know down below in the comments. So as you guys can see, I just went ahead and cut my crease. But there is that negative space towards my inner corner. And that's because I didn't want any bright green there. So I literally just took that little bit of blank canvas just to put it in that inner corner. So that way the green doesn't go all the way into my tear duct area. Because I feel like it would look kind of odd. So that's all I did. Of course, I went ahead and blended blank canvas out. Because once it dries down, it does not budge and that is basically it as far as cutting the crease so to go ahead and set that green in place I'm going into the carnival XL pro palette and I'm going to be using the shade ecstasy so a little tip here make sure that you're dipping into the palette as much as you need to to pick up more shadow just make sure that you're patting it on and not rubbing it across your lid because you will disturb the base underneath and then you'll have to rub it off and do the entire thing over. So make sure that you are patting it on. It's kind of just like setting a liquid. That's essentially what you're doing. So just pat on the powder nice and pigmented so you can get that flawless lid shade. So now what I'm going to do is work on the outer corner. I'm first going back in with the shade Forest and just packing that on the outer corner, of course, so that way the crease and the outer corner kind of come together as one. And then I did also go in with the shade Tropics and I did mix it with a little bit of the shade The Hype just so that 
that way the lime green kind of has a color in between before we get to that darker green so everything looks really nice and ombre -ed. okay so now that the eyelid is basically complete at this point I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner to my lash line this is the Cara Beauty liner it's actually waterproof as well so it lasts all day this one is in the shade black you guys this liner is so good because the felt tip on it is so thin it never runs out of product it never dries out it never skips it's beautiful I do have a discount code with Cara Beauty they're already super affordable but if you guys want to save some extra money my discount codes are always down below in the description box so now that we have the liner on we can move on to applying some mascara this is the L'Oreal air volume mascara I absolutely love this mascara it's so good I took it on vacation with me it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake it's beautiful it's also not waterproof so when you're ready to take it off it's not super hard to take off which I really enjoy and I like it it's also affordable because it's from the drugstore so I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a really good mascara or if you just want to try a new one so for lashes I'm gonna be using the OMG lashes in the style glam on so OMG lashes is a YouTube channel um, the girl who runs the YouTube channel her name is Karina she does the most bomb looks and her lashes are always stunning so these are her lashes I love them I'm obsessed so that's what I'm wearing I just wanted to shout her out because I freaking love her channel I'm such a fan so moving on to the face makeup I'm gonna be first going in with some of this elf oil infused mist this is the restoring one my skin was so dry it definitely needed some extra TLC in today's video and then for primer I'm gonna be using the rare beauty always an optimist pore primer you guys this primer is so nice like I don't know what magic is in here but it's a pore filling primer that doesn't feel silicone based like it looks like it would be silicone based when you pump it out but it's not it makes your skin look so smooth it's not drying it is amazing I love it for foundation, I decided to try out a new one. This is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. It says it's a high coverage foundation formula. Mine is in the shade 2.0 YG. You guys, I was so shook with this foundation. Okay, first of all, it's super affordable. It's from The Ordinary. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the brand The Ordinary because their skincare is super popular. Um, but wow, I was not expecting it to have this much coverage. By the way, I'm applying it with the e.l.f. Duo Brush. And I was like honestly shook it looks so pretty it still looks like skin but it blended effortlessly like I definitely used way too much you do not need this much foundation but wow the coverage was very pretty so I wanted to test it out a little bit further you guys know I have super pigmented lips so I was like let me put it over my lips and see how much it covers and girl they're gone concealed like no pigmentation coming through whatsoever it was insane so moving on to cream bronzer I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty cream bronzer this one is in the shade fair I absolutely love it as you can see and I haven't used it in a while because I found so many other cream bronzers that I love as well so this one is not something that I reach for that often but every time I do it reminds me how amazing it is really really nice formula blends really well and the shade is really beautiful for concealer, I'm going to be using the Dermablend Cover Care Concealer. This one is in the shade 23W. This concealer is really nice, you guys. I don't see anybody talking about it. I haven't seen any YouTubers use it. It's so nice. It's so full coverage, but it's not drying and girl it's just beautiful like if you haven't tried it you need to try it it's really really nice and I highly recommend it and to actually blend it out I am using a colored rain sponge girl this sponge is so dirty I need to clean it just just letting you guys know so because you know we're friends like I could tell you these kind of things moving on to powder I'm going to be using the dragon beauty powder I love this powder it does have a very strong scent I've said that before when I first tried it out in a video I told you guys that the scent is pretty strong but I really do love it and I don't mind the smell at all so I did go ahead and apply this to set underneath my eyes it makes my under eyes look really nice and smooth but it also brightens them but doesn't give you a white cast so it's really beautiful to set my entire face I'm gonna be using my Sephora micro smooth powder but this one is in the shade medium I finally got tan enough to be able to go back to the shade medium I love this powder I'm not gonna talk on and on about it you guys know this is a holy grail for me and then for bronzer I'm gonna be using the essence matte bronzing powder palette so beautiful I definitely have been loving this a lot this is also something I took on vacation like I mentioned it is beautiful I love it for blush I'm using the Sephora collection blush the camera is so washing this 
this color out but it's a beautiful peachy blush you guys will be able to see when I apply it to my cheeks it's really beautiful and when it comes to green eyeshadow I feel like a orange or peachy cheek is just so pretty and the colors just go so well together so I like to of course go ham with the blush you guys know I am never shy with my blush I love blush so I put it all over my nose my cheeks of course sometimes I even put a little on my forehead but that's a story for another day so moving on to highlighter I'm gonna be using the Dior highlighter I keep forgetting that this was limited edition so I'm so sorry for using it in today's video but I do love it it's amazing hopefully for next holiday they bring out another one but this is not an item that you can get your hands on at the moment so I'm sorry guys but that's basically it for the face makeup let's move back into the lower lash line so here's what the base is looking like I already did one eye you guys it looks so good so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start off with the shade forest and I'm taking that on a flat definer brush and I'm gonna go ahead and pack that super super tight to my lower lash line then I'm also gonna go back into the shade tropics and I'm taking this on a pencil brush and I'm basically using this to diffuse that darker green basically I'm using all the shades I used in the crease underneath the lower lash line so that's what I did there and then I did of course go back in with the shade key lime and I just diffused it at first with a small brush but then I was like you know what I want this look to look really dramatic really blown out so I went in with the fluffy brush okay this is a huge brush and I just applied key lime all underneath that lower lash line and I actually love it I think it looks so nice so that's what I did there and then for my waterline you guys I wanted it to be as neon as the lid so I'm gonna go back in with the shade limelight and I took a little bit on the back of my hand and used a small detail brush and I just packed it into my waterline you want to be super careful with this because you don't want to get this in your eye but I did that and then I did go in with a eyeshadow afterwards just to set it in place and the eyeshadow that I used was the shade ecstasy which is the same shade that we used to set the lid so just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that and it was honestly beautiful I was obsessed for lower lash mascara of course I'm using the MAC Giga Black Lash love this mascara for my lower lashes I actually just ordered a backup on Ulta's website because it is so good like my lashes look so good when I use this mascara on my lower lashes I just I can't put it down it's really really good so that basically completes the eyes let's move on to the lips because I'm really excited for this part because like I said this is a whole new lip combo so like I said I started off with my KKW lip liner in the shade new number two but we're going to be using two of the brand new Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics liquid lipsticks so the first shade that I'm using here is the shade oh hi it does have scent that's why I'm smelling it as soon as I put it to my lips I was like oh my gosh this is really sweet it smells so good it kind of smells like cupcake kind of smells like cookies it's just a very sweet scent but the color look at how pretty this color is it's like a nice nude pink I was obsessed honestly I could have left the lip like that because I feel like it went really well with the green but of course I wanted to lighten up the center you guys look at me obsessed I was like oh I found a new lip combo so the next shade that I'm putting in the center is nudie you guys so pretty like I'm going back on the website and getting more because it's stunning so I applied it to the inner part of my lips blended that with a brush and this is the lip combo super pretty nice nude with the pink undertone I was loving it definitely loving it so what I decided to do is add a gloss this is the KKW lip gloss in the shade nude one first time trying this as well and they were so juicy so shiny and the color was perfect for this lip combo I actually really did enjoy this lip combo like all of them were just amazing and the liquid lipsticks were not drying at all so now to set everything in place I'm gonna be using this Huda Beauty setting spray this is like her dewy coconut spray it's really nice I love the spritzer and it gives my skin a really nice beautiful glow so once everything is nice and locked in I just went ahead and dried that setting spray down with my body be fan and you guys honestly that basically completes the look what do you guys think of today's look I think it's so pretty I'm obsessed with it down below let me know if you guys want to see another color story should I do pink should I do an orange like a neon orange I think that would be so pretty too so definitely let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye